Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call today, Wednesday the 10th of May. Before we get started, please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, let us have a look at what's happened overnight and locally in Australia. To everyone's surprise, retail sales fell for the second month in a row despite uh, a pickup in the employment in March, so this was uh, quite surprising to everybody. As a result, the Aussie dollar tumbled and that was pretty much on the back of lower gold prices, stronger US dollar and of course the softer retail sales numbers, so that was the, the main catalyst. Now we also had the annual budget and there's always talking points but the highlights were, for anybody that missed it, uh, there's a boost in infrastructure spending. Uh, we have a second airport in Sydney and rail, road and rail projects to the value of around about $75 billion. Um, big banks were hit with new levies, okay, and the third one which will impact a, a lot of us is an increase to the Medicare uh, levy by 0.5% in two years time. So they're the highlights, that's what's happened overnight. There wasn't anything else, so it is now time to have a look at our chart of the day. The chart of the day today is the pound yen. Now it's not quite ready yet but uh, let me talk you through it. Essentially we can see that uh, I have found for us a, a nice uh, level of resistance creating uh, somewhat of a double top. The market has come to that area right now and uh, the candle that is in formation is still not completed. We're waiting for that uh, candle over here. Let's see if you can see this one right here and essentially uh, we can get an inside candle situation. If we do get that inside candle tomorrow morning, uh, basically the trade will be set and ready to go. It's a little bit tough finding anything at the moment. Um, the, sometimes this is just the way that it goes, but this is the most interesting chart of the day. It's the pound yen on a daily chart and uh, we're just about set there. So let's wait and see if we do get an inside candle confirmation. Okay, let's uh, move on and have a look at what news we have coming in the session that is about to unfold for us. We have at 10 o'clock tonight in my local time, which is Australian Eastern Standard Time. We have Mr. Draghi speaking, he's the ECB president, so that will affect the Euro. At 12.30 we have crude oil inventory, so any CAD traders, keep an eye on that one. At 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, before I do the next daily call, we have the RBNZ rate announcement, so any Kiwi dollar traders, keep an eye on this one. This is a market moving event. And then at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, RBN said press conference to see any comments that they will add to their decision on the rates uh, that they make that decision tomorrow. Okay, all right, as always, guys, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, have a fantastic trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow on the Daily Call. That's bye for now.